20 in the morning. It's time to talk money with Stuart Welch in the Welch Group. He joins us this morning with our Money Tuesday advice, and we're talking about Roth IRA conversions and the tax consequences. That is a mouthful, and you're going to tell <laughs> us all about that, right? Well, we can certainly try. Okay. So we actually had a question from a viewer, and mm -hmm. the question was, if you take a non-deductible IRA and convert it to a Roth, is there a tax consequence? Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know how we do this easily, but <laughs> okay, well just I think maybe let's do an example. Okay. So, so let's assume that you had a non-deductible IRA, mm -hmm. so you're putting in money after you've paid the taxes. Right. And let's just assume that you've put in $10,000, and it's now worth $12,000, okay. so you have a $2,000 profit. Okay. When you convert it to a Roth IRA, you're going to you're going to have to report that profit in the year of the conversion, so that two thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Once it's converted to a Roth IRA, from that point forward, it continues to grow without any taxation. And then later, when you retire, you can take that money out, and you're never going to have to pay taxes on it. So that's the big advantage of going from one to the other. So, how does the IRA uh, IRS figure out how to how to do that? It's well, just, you're responsible for figuring that, and they're responsible for checking you. You know. Uh, to make sure it gets if done. If I'm responsible, we're in trouble. Okay? Well, yeah, well, typically you're going to get a CPA involved in okay. that. Here's where it gets really tricky. If, if in addition to having that non-deductible IRA, you also had a regular IRA uh -huh. in which you put money in fully deductible, you have to actually aggregate the two. You have to add the two together and figure out the total gain and then take a percentage of the conversion. And that's why that's where it gets really complicated. Okay. And you're actually going to need a tax advisor. In most cases, you'll need a tax advisor to get some help doing that. And even when you're on the onset of all of this, you really need to get some professional help, first of all. I th well, I think particularly when you start doing something like a conversion, you mm -hmm. probably do want to bring somebody in. It can be a financial advisor, a certified financial planner. It can be a CPA. And you want to bring somebody in that can help you with that. OK, so what else do you have for us this morning? Well, we did have somebody that uh, uh, that, that called in and asked about buying a home. So the, the question was, uh, they uh, uh, they had uh, w was making about eighty five thousand. She didn't have a home. Her parents were willing to help her with it. She really didn't feel like she was ready. And I think my comment on it was that it's a great time to buy a home. Mm -hmm. Home prices are really low. Mm -hmm. uh, interest rates are at all time lows. Mm -hmm. But it, buying a home is a really big responsibility. And I think people should wait until they're ready. In this case, uh, this, this lady was about in her early 30s, so she was a little older than most folks, but she still wasn't ready and she should wait. Wait until you can nearly handle the responsibility. All right, Stuart Welch, thanks so much for joining us this morning. I appreciate your advice all the time. Thank you, sir.